My name is William Moyers. I'm the Vice President of Public Affairs and Community Relations at the Hazelden Foundation. I am also in long-term recovery from addiction to alcohol and other drugs because I had access to treatment more than once. And when I finally got clean and sober in 1994, it was my insurance coverage, along with the support from my employer and my family and my community, all of those resources made it possible for me to get help. Here I am. Today I am a taxpayer. I'm a homeowner in St. Paul. I am a consumer of many products made and sold right here in the Twin Cities and Minnesota. I am intimately involved as a father raising three busy teenagers. Please pray for me. I'm employed and I am a voter. All because I am in recovery. And tonight in this room, I am not alone. Raise your hand, please. I invite you to raise your hand if you or somebody that you care about is in recovery from mental illness or addiction or both. Raise your hands. Very impressive. Nobody's in denial in this room. <laughs> I want to thank tonight's hosts and tonight's sponsors, the National Alliance for the Mentally Ill Minnesota, the Emily Program Foundation, the Barbara Schneider Foundation, Haven Chemical Health Systems, the University of Minnesota Health Systems Fairview, the Parity Implementation Coalition in Washington, D.C. Hazelin is also a host and a sponsor tonight, and I want to give a special thanks to my colleagues, Dean Peterson, the director of Hazelin Center for Public Advocacy, and Mark Mishik, the president and CEO of Hazelin. Our other host, and our host among hosts right here, is Minnesota Recovery Connection, led by Executive Director Nell Hurley and the staff and the volunteers of MRC, and many of the MRC board members are also in the room this evening, thanks to MRC and all of your supporters. And one more shout out to Carol McDade. Where is Carol? There she is in the front row. Carol's here from Capital Decisions in Washington, D.C., and it is her tireless efforts over 20 years in the legislative trenches of government relations. Yes, that's lobbying. Yeah. <laughs> her work on behalf of addicts and alcoholics, people with mental illnesses, and their families who need help. Well, the results of your efforts, Carol, you among many, but you as a leader, your efforts here tonight are why we have come so far and why we still have so far to go. The implementation and enforcement of parity is vital, but even more so in this issue is the context. What brings us here tonight we must put into the context of the Supreme Court's historic decision on health care and what may or may not happen next year in the aftermath of the November election.